when I talked about the Kennedys earlier, I was talking about it because Kat Tempf said something about how Kennedy is her best friend from Fox News or something like that. And I was trying to say, I don't give a shit about the Kennedys. And it's hard to explain how I, I seem like I, I care because I, th I think something happened at, at one point in history and that means that I don't like JFK. I think that he was a cheater. I don't like him because he's a cheater. That's the way I am. Like, I know it's weird that I think that Ron Paul's a pervert, but then I want to have orgies in the Dome of the Rock, but I don't really care about that. I just want to have sex in the Dome of the Rock in general. But I don't, I, that, the thing is like, if I'm going to have sex with someone other than the one person I'm with, or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with her. And so if, if there are three of us or four of us in the relationship, everyone's going to know. There's not going to be some like cheating shit. And there's definitely not going to be a bunch of faking. And I'm just not a faker. It's hard to explain. So, like, that's why I don't like him. I, Bobby, I, I know, you know why. But who cares? And I'm going to stop talking about it because I realize for the Kennedys, it's like, uh, my understanding is Catherine's a very nice girl. And Chris Pratt, my understanding is that guy is was Amy Poehler's favorite person on uh, Parks and Rec, like behind the scenes. Chris Pratt and then that other guy, the older guy that sits at the desk, the one that you would never notice him. Um, um, all I'm saying is that, that, that okay, in my imaginary head, that's what I hear. And like, and Chris Pratt's the kind of person I'd want to go shoot guns with. Like he's, he's the type of person I'd want to go have fun with. Like he's, he's like a fun guy. Like he's like a, he's almost like a gun toting Democrat like me. Um, so, um, all I'm saying is I don't want to like get into a beef with him. I definitely want, don't want to beef with Arnold. I mean, look at this. Arnold thinks I got some girly arms right here. Oh, look at that. Uh, I know, I used to have strong arms. I ain't been working out ever since I've been injured. Uh, I feel like a sissy next to that man. I, 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 I was very mean to Arnold at one point because I didn't like how the state of California elected for governor a man that drives a Hummer. And I was very angry about it. But my, my understanding is Arnold's working towards doing good right now. It, what, what I, I don't think Cat Tiff understands about me is that I think you're immoral if you ever read this book, uh, Bobo's in Paradise by David Brooks, he talks about how you can wipe each other with poop and have, have giant orgies. And as long as you use a condom, no one will get mad at you. But if someone does not recycle, then like some white Anglo-Saxon Protestants will, will like strangle you. And I'm the guy that has been paying attention to people's cars ever since I got a Honda long time ago. Uh, when I was, when I was, I was like everyone else when I first got my license when I was 15 years old. Um, that was, you know, 20 years ago. Uh, I didn't care about the planet. I was, there was 99 cent gallon of oil or of gasoline. I didn't care. And then once I started realizing we we're going to run out of this, I knew that um, I want to drive an efficient vehicle and I've driven an efficient vehicle ever since I drove Honda Civic, Honda Civic, uh, hybrid, um, after that. And so um, I think that that's a possibility. There is a possibility we can convince the Republican Party to adjust the way that they see the world where everyone is trying to save the planet at the same time. But I don't, I'm not 100% sure if that's possible because Fox News is the greatest threat to the, in, to the planet. Like there is like Al Qaeda, pff, little babies. Boko Haram, fuck Boko Haram. Al Shabaab, what are they gonna do? Uh, uh, North Korea, man, if, if someone, re if they really want to put their resources into trying to put ba bombs in the hands of psychotic people, they could hurt, hurt, they could blow up, they could kill people, but they're not as big of a threat to the entire planet as Fox News. And that's what I really don't think Cat Temp understands. It's like, for me, um, you, there's, there's nothing you can do that's worse than protecting a propaganda machine that is convincing everyone to actively destroy the planet, that it's good to destroy the planet, that if you don't try to destroy the planet, then there's something wrong with you. And that's, that's exactly, I believe that about Fox News for a long time because they, they aggressively spread the propaganda that if you're driving a hybrid, are you gay? I swear to God in Texas one time, um, I said, I drove, I drove a, a, a Mustang. I drove a car. I wasn't even driving a truck. And this guy goes, you drive a car? Are you gay? Like, I swear to God. One time I met this girl at this bar. I told her I drove a hybrid. She was like, oh. And she didn't want to talk to me anymore. That, that's in Texas.
You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's a cultural thing. It's like, oh, I love Jesus. I'm compassionate. I care about others. I care about the people next to me. Wait, no, I don't. Not at all. And so it's like, that's why I was talking, I'm like still trying to talk to Cat Tim. That's why I talked about the Kennedys. I, well, I'm not trying to be an asshole. Like the rest of the Kennedys, I don't even know who they are. Like, I'm sorry that girl killed herself or, or she just died of an overdose. Like, I don't, I don't know what happened there. Um, like, I'm sorry. Um, but like, um, like, I don't, I don't know who anybody is. And like, I, I, I think my grandfather, what did my grandfather do? Well, he committed mass murder against the Japanese. Like he, my grandpa, one time, I was watching King and Kel down in South Texas. And my grandpa goes, why are you watching a bunch of fucking monkeys running around? No, he never said fuck. My grandpa would never say a bad word like that. But he said, why are you watching those niggers running around the television like a bunch of monkeys? That's what he said. And I under, so that's why I understand why people think Jojo Siwa was wearing blackface, but she's wearing brown face. She's dressed as a monkey and you gotta be able to dress as a monkey. She's at a circus. You gotta be able to do whatever the fuck you want. Everyone's so sensitive. I, I, I realize you can't, like, I, I'm offensive because I do a Southern accent, but I would be really offensive if I did a gay accent and I didn't even, it's hard to explain how you don't think about how offensive you can be if you're doing a gay accent. And then, like, I'd be, like, it's crazy how if I did a black people accent, I'd be even more offensive. Yo, 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 this out. I mean, seriously, everyone would be pissed at me if I did an entire series as, black, as a black person wearing a bandana or something. Uh, it's unbelievable how, how it's so hard to copy people without being offensive. All I'm saying is, uh, I don't care about the Kennedys. And it, like, I, I, don't, I don't care about anyone. Like, the vast majority of actors, I don't give a shit about. Like, if you're, if you're from a band that make, makes me like tingle, then maybe I'll be like, hmm, hi, can I be your friend? You know, but like, generally, I don't give a shit about you. And I think that a lot of the time, famous people understand that. So Chris Pratt understands like, why I don't give a shit about the Kennedys, but like, it doesn't mean, I, I don't, I think, that, I, I do believe that they are above average intelligence. And that's the thing. I, I, I know it because they went to Harvard. Like, they're a bunch of Harvard people. Like, or they're descended from a bunch of Harvard people, so they very are above average intelligence. It's just, they made it, like, you mess with the American intelligence community, sometimes, uh, uh, you mess with the horns, you get the, what do you get? You mess with the bull, you get the horns? Yeah, that's what, that's what they say.